Hey, how's it going, YouTube? This is Saint Enix. We're gonna go ahead and do a new Blue Stacks video. Blue Stacks only. No Android this time. Uh, pretty simple. In my uh, my video description, there's a link to my website, which is Fallout Shelter. Dot Studios. Dot com. When you open that with your PC, it's gonna give you this page. It's a pretty simple page. I rearranged things a little bit. It's like the original mostly, though. Everything's the same, pretty much. Um, all the same data is there. All the same instructions and all that such. Okay. I don't want that video to play. It's got a couple of ads. No big deal. That little pop-up down there in the video. That's pretty much it. So, as you can see here, along the side, we've got our vaults. Um, I also do custom vaults, so if people really would like something specific for them, custom vault number, um, certain number of lunch boxes, caps, things of that nature, send me an email. You can use this link here or this link here. Both are mail to forms, and you can just, it'll open up your mail program and you can shoot me an email. Um, we're going to go ahead and grab vault 138. Okay. It's going to take you to AdFly. This is a little, little ad, five-second thing. You can skip it right here in the top corner. You don't have to fill out anything. You don't have to click on anything except for skip ad. Just, you know, twiddle your thumbs for five seconds, and then click on skip ad in the corner. When you click on skip ad, it'll bring up the download. You want to save the file. I can't stress this enough. Save the file. If you open with, it's going to open it in C, user data, blah, 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 app data, pro, all this stuff, and it's going to be really hard to find. Okay, So just save the file. It'll go into your downloads. It'll make it so much easier. So once the file is saved, you can just close the whole browser. We don't need the browser anymore at all. You grabbed your file. You've got your file. We're good to go. Now we're going to go into our downloads, just documents, and then click over. as soon as Firefox unloads out of the RAM. Okay, so downloads right here. And as you can see, we've got Vault 138. Well, we got another save from earlier, from the last video. Delete. Yes, okay. We're going to extract the files here. You can also open with Windows Explorer, um, which will give you this, and you can just cut. Cut from there, or copy from there. Um, you can either copy from there and right click paste and it'll extract for you or you can just run the extract here or use 7-zip or any other zip program you you like. I per personally prefer WinRAR. Um, copy and replace yada yada. So there we have Vault 138 save. Now Vault 138 is not going to work. There's only three save slots. One, two, and three. So Vault 38 is not going to work. We're going to rename this Vault 3. Okay, since I've already got other ones here. We're going to rename it Vault 3. Then we're going to right click, copy, and then we're going to go to local disk C. In BlueStacks, you're using BlueStacks on your PC, BlueStacks is going to default to local disk C, program data, BlueStacks, and that's where it'll be. Okay? Mine is somewhere else the actual, I'll put the full, in annotations, I'll put the full uh, path, the proper path, the default path. But mine's installed somewhere else, so I'm going to show you that. Excuse me, I put mine in um, program files under BlueStacks, like all the other programs. I don't know why they wanted to put it, hide it from you. But uh, if you go into C disk, program data, BlueStacks, user data, and then shared folder this is like your SD card for BlueStacks this is where you can put anything you want to bring into BlueStacks and run through BlueStacks um, BlueStacks doesn't allow you to just move files into folders like that um, they have a lot of those folders locked off and compiled inside the actual program so you have to do it this way just trust me on this um, move it into your C um, program data, blue stacks, user data, shared folder. 
then you can close that. We don't need that anymore either. Now we can go completely into blue stacks. The rest of it's all done in blue stacks. Open up your root explorer. We're going to go ahead and maximize this. Open up your root explorer and then scroll all the way down to storage. And then click, it's going to be only one thing on blue stacks, SD card. Um, and then down at the bottom to windows. Okay. The last folder you need to go into is blue stack shared folder at the top. As you can see, there's our Vault 3 save. You want to click, left click, and hold. Um, just like a phone or a tablet, you tap and hold. You don't. There's no right and left click because it doesn't know which fingers are which. Um, <clears throat> there's no right and left click, so you just have to tap and hold. The same thing with blue stacks. Click and hold. Um, then go to copy. I always just copy. That way I leave a, f a version that I can get to easily in case this one gets corrupted I can just go back to the shared folder and grab another one um, hit the back button twice okay you were in Windows Bluestack shared folder hit back once back twice will take you back to the SD card go to Android then data then com dot bethsoft dot fallout shelter files and then boom here is our here is our directory there's the folder with all the stuff we need. Your know, device ID, join date, sequence number, things like that. All this stuff is what you want to see. If you don't see this stuff where you copy that vault file, um, the save file, it's not going to load. It will not load. It's not the right spot. Trust me, you need all these files. This is the proper folder. Make sure your folder looks like this. Copy here. Okay, so there we go. We see we got vault 3 save already down there. We're just going to go ahead and get out of that. We don't need that anymore. Since it's already moved, we're going to go into Fallout Shelter. It does take a minute to load. Um, I'm still waiting on more RAM to come in for this PC. So, yeah. It's... It might take a minute. Hmm. That was actually pretty quick. Okay. I spoke too soon. Alright, now that we're in Fallout Shelter, you want to click on Vault List. Now you can see this is save one, or vault one dot save. This is vault two dot save. Oh, and the one at the bottom is vault three dot save. Okay, so wherever you name them, they'll that's where they'll be. Um, also, you can use multiples. You can use three copies of vault one thirty eight if you want. It's just going to be confusing to, to figure out which is which. So I kind of shy away from that, and I recommend people don't do that because you're going to get really confused. Um, so we're going to click on Vault 3, the one we just loaded, and click Load. This might take a second. Uh, by the way, YouTube uh, likes, shares, comments, and uh, they're all greatly appreciated. And if you're feeling really generous, um, donations of any amount always help. They pay for hosting, they pay for uh, upgrades to the PC, um, for new games that I can play test and do play videos or let's play videos for you guys or try to find out more hacks you know so definitely if you can spare a buck or something I'd appreciate it a lot and it would help me bring you guys more great content okay as you can see we are in the collector's edition vault we've got all of our dwellers including St. Enix my little special me with the mohawk and the soul patch thing whatever you call it um, you've also got 777 stim packs and radaways, 77,000 resources, 777 million caps, and 20,000 lunch boxes with, I think the exact numbers are 20,015 lunch boxes and 20, or and 117 Mr. Handies. I could be off by a couple of numbers. When you're counting 20,000 zeros, it can yeah so I'm pretty sure there's about 115 to 120 Mr. Handies right around 117 um, but that should last you for a very very long time and more lunch boxes than you can conceivably open honestly I don't think you have room to hold all the stuff that you could get from those lunch boxes um, so yeah here she is she, all the rocks have been destroyed um, basic rooms nothing serious for the items, it's all the legendaries. You're looking at old painless victory rifle, destabilizer, uh, the fat, uh, Merv, 
burn master. Not only that, but you've got like every legendary outfit, heavy wasteland, bitter cups outfit, all the power armors, including like five of the best power armors in the game. Like three of those two of the best. So that's probably a high also, God, that shit in the background's horrible. <sighs> um, so, yeah, nobody cares. You're shooting people. We get it. Um, also, damn, they are really stealing stuff. I didn't know they stole that much. Um, but anyway, uh, why don't you get in here and help? Yeah, you. Shoot some people. Um, sorry, YouTube. Uh, what was I gonna say? I totally forgot. That's just awesome. Anyway, um, yeah. Feel free to head over to the site. Check, look, or be on the lookout for the new Android video. I'm gonna, it's gonna be like a webcam recording my phone, but I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it for Android and show you guys how to do it on Android. Um, so, yeah, definitely um, leave comments on anything else you'd like to see, any new games or walkthroughs, playthroughs, things like that you'd like to see from me, or any cool nifty hardware stuff that, you know, swapping a hard drive on a laptop or anything like that, you know, let me know. I will do whatever videos you guys want to see. I can break, fix, or hack pretty much anything with a circuit board, so there's that. Thanks for watching, guys. We're going to go ahead and get out of this stuff here. But, uh, yep, this is St. Enix signing off. I'll catch you guys soon. Thanks so much for all your support, and uh, appreciate it.